I'm Matt Matan. And I'm Michelle Sheep. And we do a show called Matt and Michelle Outdoors. Uh, it's been a radio show for some time. We're starting to, like many things, move more and more into the digital realm. But uh, we focus on day trips with outdoor-centered activities and dining and lodging and all those kind of things all across the Blue Ridge Mountains and the foothills of the Southern Appalachians. Yeah, so one of the really cool experiences on this trip is being able to hook up with Patrick, no pun intended, maybe intended. Uh, it's the first time we've done an episode where we've had a professional fishing guide. And so that was such, such a cool treat for us, not only because you know, for me as an angler, getting to hang out and go out on a lake, new water that I'd not been on, I'd, ne I'd never been on Kerscott Reservoir, uh, and to be able to have that camaraderie, but also we got to be towed. We have a big 18 foot guide canoe, and Patrick was able to give us a safe, slow tow uh, around the lake. That, that was a new experience, definitely. Um, well, the great thing about Patrick too, and being able to have a guide, um, on a lake like that is he was able to take us to places that we could we never would have found um, areas that had fish we never would have known were even there um, just all the best hidden spots where you could really do your best fishing and he did not disappoint it was really cool we met basically at daybreak uh, there at the boat ramp and ended up in the cove up past Lewis Fork and you know they proceeded to catch quite a few fish. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show them as much as I could the best part of the lake as far as being able to catch something. And, and then, you know, you never want to send somebody home with a, with a goose egg. You always want to bring them fish and put them on fish. And that's what my job is. As, as an angler, as an experienced angler, um, there was a lot that Kerr Scott Reservoir had to offer that I really want to get in, decipher, and, and find what's there. Because uh, I, was, I caught a lot of fish, but I also caught some really high quality bass as well. Very healthy, strong, good size. And uh, you know, a lot of times there's places you can find a lot of fish and not a whole lot of size, or a few fish and big size. Kerscott Reservoir had a balance of the two, so as an angler, it's a must stop on any angler's list of lakes. Yeah, I definitely would recommend coming to the lake and, and checking it out. And even if you're not a fisherman, the, the lake has so much to offer because you can have motor boats, you can do water sports, you can have, you know, family gatherings and go out um, you know, on all sorts of different kind of watercraft. It, it just seemed like um, such an ideal place to spend time with your friends and family. There is just a plethora of things to do as far as if you're an outdoorsman or an outdoors woman or, or want to hike, want to fish, want to hunt, want to just bird watch. Uh, the absolute, we have bald eagles here that we watch, you know, ospreys, a lot of birds of prey. Uh, we, we just enjoy where we're at, to be honest with you. It's nestled right in the mountains. Um, we can get to the Piedmont easy, Greensboro, and then come right back. There's great support for the outdoor activities with our local companies in Wilkesboro and uh, plenty of options for lodging as well. So that, that's a nice combination, especially for us on day trips and everything, to have the outdoor activities, but also the reliance of good dining and some shopping experience and, and good lodging and everything. Kerscott Reservoir is perfectly placed in proximity to all the things that we like to enjoy when we do an outdoor trip. 